morning guys welcome back to the vlog um it is currently friday so it's close to the weekend i just have one thing that i need to finish this morning before i am on weekend mode and then this weekend i'm gonna film two hauls i just got a bunch of stuff from princess polly and a bunch of new like summer stuff from um abercrombie so i'm probably gonna split them up just because it'll probably just be easier for you guys and for me. Um, so I'll do that this weekend as well. So that should be up sometime next week. I have three appointments today, which I don't typically do that kind of stuff. I'm like a one appointment kind of girly. Like I am a one appointment kind of day show pony. Like I get really drained very fast. And I was gonna do all three of them alone today. And I wasn't gonna vlog because I was like, that's just too much. I was probably maybe just gonna make like a little TikTok thingy. Um, but John just came in the room and he was like, if you want me to go with you so that we can vlog um, and like you can like do some work in the car when I'm driving, like we can do that. So that was really nice of him. Also, I just got these pajamas from Target yesterday. Maybe I'll include a little Target haul into this little vlog because I only got a few things, um, but I couldn't pass up their pajamas. I have been really wanting like cute pajamas because usually I just have like old sweats and like a ratty t-shirt. And I was like, that doesn't like make me feel good. Um, and I'm currently not feeling the best just like internally. Um, I feel weird that I'm like still laying in bed like this and not sitting up. Um, but I'll come back to that in a second. But basically I have three appointments today and I was gonna go to them alone, but now John's gonna come with me. So I'm gonna get up, get ready. And then when we're in the car, I'll kind of explain, you know, why or what's been going on with me and like my hormones and stuff. So yeah, that is what we're gonna do today. Um, thankfully, all of my appointments, okay, my hair is so crazy right now, but that's okay. I have to also wash it today. But um, thankfully, all of the appointments are in Beverly Hills, so we don't have to be like driving around a bunch. They're all like in the same general area, but yeah, I will see you guys soon. Guys, my hair right now, like, it's pretty please, cool. oh, it's pretty cool. please. Kim Kardashian literally had that done for the, for the Met Gala. Please. Okay. All right, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about this like reset that I'm trying to do and also one of the appointments that I'm going to. Um, but I am in my high protein era, guys. I We're going to gear up in a month and I really just wanted to feel good for that. Like over the last like six weeks, I don't know what's been going on with me, but I've just felt like super inflamed, super bloated. And like, I don't typically get bloated. And it's funny because like John would always like complain about like being bloated or like having heartburn and stuff. And I, I was like, I like literally cannot relate because I like don't get bloated and I don't really get heartburn that often. But I swear ever since I turned 33, like it's like an every other day, maybe every third day occurrence that I'm like, dang, like my stomach really hurts. Like after I eat something, like, I don't know, something's going on, I'm just getting older or whatever. But I'm also feeling like really like puffy and really inflamed and I just, I don't know. So I am doing a little reset. So basically I'm doing a little reset, really trying to focus on like getting my gut better. So I'm taking this leaky gut revive. Um, every morning I'm gonna do this for 30 days. Um, I'm also trying to do high protein, which for me is going to be like 120 grams per day. Um, when I wasn't even focusing on any type of protein, just, just eating how I normally was. I'm not kidding. I probably had like 30. like 30 to 40 grams of protein a day. Like it wasn't that good. And I thought I was being good cause I was like, Oh, I'm having eggs in the morning or I'm having a yogurt here. I'm do it just like was not adding up. So I'm really trying. And so, so then. Then when I started focusing on adding more protein, but not trying to get a high protein diet, I was probably getting around like 80, but now I'm really focusing on like getting 40 grams of protein in every single meal. And if I can't having a little protein shake, ha having a yogurt, like really getting there. Um, and this has only been for the last probably a little over a week. And I'm already feeling a little bit better. Like I'm already waking up feeling better and I'm already going to sleep feeling like full when I'm not, 
I'm not even like snacking that much, which is crazy because I'm I like to like I like to have my little desserts after um, after dinner. Well, I think and I think the key to getting that much protein is that you're eating a lot at each meal, so you really can't snack. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of food to get that much protein. Yeah, so it makes you eat. Healthy. But I was eating a lot of carbs. Yeah. Like I would like for. Well, you just replace you just replace the carbs with protein. Right. right. Exactly. Like I was having a lot of carbs. Um, so then, so that's not, something I'm also going, what? I was going to say not like nutritious carbs, you're talking like, like crack, cereal, cracker, bread, yeah, like crackers, cereal. crackers, bread, cereal, like it wasn't, it wasn't carbs that you're going to get from like fruits and vegetables. Unfortunately, it was uh, processed carbs. Um, so I am also going to my naturopath because I do feel like my hormones are a little bit messed up still. Um, and I also have a thyroid issue. I have had hyper hypothyroidism since I was like 21 and I got it like under control. And then probably like five years ago, I stopped taking my medicine and went to a naturopath and got all of these like vitamins and minerals and tinctures and things. And I got it under control without having to do my medicine. And I'm wondering if I need to like go back on the medicine again. So I don't know, I think we're gonna do some blood work today, check my estrogen, test my testosterone. I know that I had high estrogen and low testosterone, which is also very not good. So we're gonna see if we can get those levels back to normal. Or before I was doing the high protein, I would typically just do this piece of toast, a little bit of an avocado, and then two eggs. But what I've recently started doing is and then like also like that would take you until dinner sometimes Yeah, if you uh, yeah, like that would take me until like late afternoon And then I have I usually have like a later lunch like I usually eat most people eat lunch probably around like 12 or 1 I usually eat lunch around like 3 um, so But I would have snacks in between but um, I know that's a, the, you, you're right you would have a lot of little snacks. Yeah, like and then little you just snackies. Wouldn't eat until yeah. wouldn't eat a real meal with protein until yeah. dinner. All right. Now what I do is add two extra egg whites. So that's a little bit of extra protein on here. That's not really adding any like real like, bulk. And then we got these like blender shakers or these shakers, which you don't need the metal ball, which is so cool. So I just put a thing of protein in here and water, and I shake it up. And like, how crazy is that? I guess it's like the way that it's formed or something. I don't know but I got, got it on Amazon, I'll link it. Ooh. Oh my God, I almost just, <gasps> all the protein, so. But yeah, I mean, shakes are the only way that you can get a lot of protein because when you're full, you can always drink mm -hmm. something. It's always like easy. And this is just protein and water. It tastes like, it literally, this is just protein and water. It literally just tastes like chocolate milk. Happy. That's what I'm gonna say. One other thing that I have been doing, I'm almost at two weeks. I'm at 12 days currently, but I'm not drinking coffee. Um, I'm not not drinking caffeine because I were consuming caffeine because I still am consuming caffeine. It's simply just coffee that has really been giving me a little bit of anxiety, and I don't. Hey, can you grab me a napkin? And I don't typically have anxiety. I'm not a very anxious person. And it will literally be on like a Saturday when I have nothing to do. I'm just chilling on the couch. I'm literally rotting all day. And I'll be like, oh, let me get a coffee. Let me get a sweet treat, you know? And I'll get my iced vanilla oat milk latte and I'll be like halfway done with it. And all of a sudden my heart is in my stomach. My, It's just like, I have this super anxious feeling and I can't get rid of it. And like it, go, it, you know, I kind of like forget about it in a minute. And then it keeps happening for like 20 minutes after that. And I like stop drinking it. And then like, I'll just have a few more sips and it'll happen again. And it doesn't happen with other caffeine. Like I have these little like caffeine chews that I have sometimes if I don't want coffee like early in the morning. I also have matcha. It doesn't happen with that. It's simply just my lattes and not just the lattes at Boy and Bear. It's not like they're like drugging me or anything. It's anytime I get a latte out. And so I decided two weeks ago that I'm gonna just cut out coffee for as long as I can. Um, and to be honest, it has not been that hard, but I will say my mouth salivates when I see people posting their, <laughs> posting their lattes on stories. I'm like, 
Oh, I want that so bad. Oh, I want that so bad. Okay, guys. This is the fit that we decided on. This is all the clothes that I'm going to be doing the try-on haul with, but this is what we've got going on. And we're heading to the first appointment, which is an anti-cellulite massage. I, it's like a lymphatic drainage. All right, we can go. It's like a lymphatic drainage massage, but I never knew that they could specify or like, what's the word? Target. Like target cellulite. So we're going to see if it's a gimmick or not. I didn't, she, she recommended 10 sessions. And while they are pretty expensive, I was like, um, yeah, I'm just, I was like, yeah, I, I'm just gonna do one at first. <laughs> well, I mean, I asked her, I was like, what do you recommend? Like, do you've never seen my body before or whatever. And she was like, you should come in for one session. And then, like an evaluation. yeah, you should come in for one session and then we could like go from there. But basically she said that um, typically what she offers is like a 10 pack, like every single week for 10 weeks. And usually you see like a dramatic difference from there on. Guys, my hair, I can't even look at I've needed to wash my hair for, I'm not even kidding, like five days. Five days I've needed to wash my hair. I didn't even bother putting a dry shampoo in it today because I am want a hair oil tonight. And if you put dry shampoo in your hair, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it, it, it like cancels them out, but the oil is kind of going to attack the dry shampoo and it's not going to actually like go onto your scalp, which is what you want. So I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm obviously going to put it up. I just, you know, no claw clips in the car. So we're on our way. Guys, we need, we need to chat about, <laughs> we need to chat about what the fuck just happened. Um, I really only filmed in like Instagram way because it was just too much for me to do both ways. So hopefully you guys got to enjoy some of that torture that I just went through. Torture in the best way though. Like I truly mean like I was... I was enjoying it because I knew pain, you know, pain is beauty. Like when I get my lips done, when I get any like facial things done that are like zapping me, I'm like, just get it done with because once it's over, I'm going to feel better. Um, but that Ukrainian woman, uh -huh, she took me to pound town. Like she was working it. Like she, I got steamrolled. I got steamrolled in there. Like it was wild. And John didn't, th I, I knew that it was gonna be a little bit painful. John thought it was gonna be like a very like light uh, lymphatic drainage massage, which I've never gotten one of those either. But this was an anti-cellulite lymphatic drainage massage. So it was like a lot like harder. Like sh my entire body is going to be bruised. I'm not even kidding. She said mostly on the legs because that's where she like went really hard because that's where I have the most cellulite. But it was like a full body experience. Um, <laughs> and an experience it was. Uh, let me freaking tell you. I was getting manhandled. And... Um, I'm not even kidding. I started to disassociate when I was in there. I was like, what do we have to do? to get through this massage without me breaking down and like kind of not like crying because like I didn't want to like be wincing, there. Yeah. Probably. Like, like, yeah. like how do I get through this without her thinking that she needs to go a little bit um, lighter? Cause I didn't want her to go lighter. Like I, I, I wanted the experience. I wanted to get everything out of what I just did. And so I want, I didn't want to like wince and I didn't want to move and I didn't want to tighten up. But so I was disassociating. I'm not even kidding. I was, I was doing all the tactics. I was breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. I was counting. And then I realized, and then I like, kind of like figured out her rhythm. And I was like, okay, she does the, what she, what the one that really, really, really hurt. Not every 
move that she did hurt it was mostly when she went in with her knuckles and just absolutely raked it back and forth and i noticed that she did about eight to 13 of those and so once she started going with that i was like nine ten it's almost done eleven and and at some point i actually started to feel uh like dizzy and and um tingly but not in a bad way like not like i was gonna like pass yeah, out but in like but in like kind of like a euphoric way honestly so i was like i honestly was in another dimension i really was i was like whoa i did get the download the down low though and basically what she said is that everyone has like certain degrees of cellulite and like some people may need more sessions some people may need less sessions but as a rule of thumb she generally says to do one session a week for 10 weeks and that for most people will help a lot once you get to like the 10th session you'll see like a really really big improvement and then it usually lasts for like six months and then she was like you can come back like once a month for like a few sessions but like typically like a lot of people like won't need it and i was like okay sweet i'm actually just remembering as i am telling the story that i didn't take any like before photos but i'm only one session in so it really wouldn't make that big of a difference but um i did not take before photos so maybe i can take those when i get home um but i'm trying to think what else it is pricey um it's like 250 dollars a session so and she said that i'm going to be extremely bruised which um not great for the try on haul that i was planning for you guys i'm really hoping that maybe my body's like mm, we're not gonna bruise today actually blake we're we're fine um she said that it is okay to work out after um that you should drink a lot of water but not too much water like don't go overboard and drink like two gallons of water but drinking like the typical one gallon per day um for the next few days is like what you should do and then she also said like if you have a sauna do that like walking mm -hmm. exercising is really good because the toxins that she just kind of like massaged need to come out of the body so going to the bathroom obviously like with the water is going to be good but also like sweating it out is just extra on top of that so that's something different than like getting like botox and like facials and stuff because you really can't work out for like 24 to like 48 hours after that kind of stuff um but yeah uh i was in a different dimension i was levitating above my body and i was like whoa what's going on here but i think i'm gonna get him out i literally got in the car and i was like i was like babe i need i need a few minutes to like to just come back down from what just happened and i was like i might have to break the coffee fast for this because that was just <laughs> that was just wild but uh it was 15 minutes ago i've come back down to earth i'm currently on planet earth and i think i'm gonna get a matcha and then the next place that we're going is we're going to azazi i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly it's where delaney is getting her dress is from and of course I had a problem with my dress even though I did everything correctly um I had a problem with my dress unfortunately it was it's no one's fault it was just and it's good that we had like months to do this so um but long story short is when I sent in my measurement they forgot to add the inches for my heels and so um it's like three inches too short so they just got a new dress and I'm going in to like pick it I'm not picking it up today I don't think um they're gonna do like a little bit more alterations possibly and if it's perfect i can pick it up today so that's what we're gonna do and then we're heading to the ne and then maybe we can stop yeah i know but like maybe we can like stop and get like a little yeah bite to eat They're like revamping or like renovating Alfred. And so they didn't have any straws or stirs or anything. And just all of the vanilla and the oat milk is on the bottom. So we're trying to figure it out. Kelsey, lit okay. oh, that actually looks really good. Kelsey literally dumps hers no. upside down. I'm not even it's kidding. Also, before we just head off for just a second, mm -hmm. um, why wasn't anyone going to tell me that these perfect bars have 15 to 18 grams of protein? Like, I thought that those types of bars had like four, which is why I never bought them. What? So that's 330 calories. <laughs> yeah, that's actually our last. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's actually a lot. Yeah, that's actually a lot. Okay. So that's ha- that's five percent if you're doing your no. Yeah, because it would be thirty three if it was ten percent. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm just gonna have half, I guess. That is like actually a lot. There was one that had. <laughs> there was one that had eighteen. You, but just, I, you just made up this really cool rule the other day. I didn't make it up. It, you could have used it right there. No, I'm saying you just told. Yeah, me I didn't even look. Okay. Mm, it's really good though. Yeah, I'm not it's a candy you. bar. It's not candy. It's because of the. It's because of the peanut butter. It's made out of peanut butter. Mm. Mm. It is good though. <laughs> it is good though. But yeah, that's like 330 grams. It's actually wild. Okay. That's a taste test. Also, I'm still so oily from that massage. So this, I'm just making things up, but. I mean, that's not, that's not, I don't like that. Wait, why? It's just way too, like, bitter. Fuck. Here we go. That's not what it tastes like when I make it. Yeah. Why is it? Should I get someone else's? Sure. Corey. No, this is mine. <laughs> nope, unfortunately, this is mine. Blake and my name is Blake. Blage. On <laughs> my name is literally for Blage. Yeah, B L A J E. For a uh, story time that you guys don't know is that when I type really fast, I put na- Blake's name in as Balky. Mm-hmm. And when we travel, it's happened like at least twice. You're now. like for Balky? I'm like, yep, that's my fucking name now. <laughs> Balky. <laughs> So whenever we travel, she's bulky. Um, and now you're blonde. No, I literally think it's because the the it's syrup is like on the bottom. bottom. Yeah, but I shook it pretty well. I know, but once I get down a little bit further, I think it'll be a little bit better. But let's head out. Um, we just got out. <laughs> Congrats, it's messed up. Uh, it's got some bad luck, guys. Like, you know, it's I. It's got some bad luck with dresses. The dress was messed up. It's so beautiful, though. Like, the dress is really, really beautiful, and the material is so nice. Um, just the exact same thing that happened with the first dress happened with the second dress. Unfortunately, I put it on, I thought that it was the original dress because the original dress was like four inches too short because they didn't account for my shoes and so I was like oh this is like the original dress I came out with it only like halfway on she was like do you need me to like zip it up I was like well yeah but is this the right dress and they were like yeah and I was like it's too, it's too short again unless I grew four inches which I would not mind because I would pay I tens of just, thousands I, of dollars I to think they just shouldn't more. they just shouldn't even take the your height without the shoes on it gets too confusing because i think they took my height with the shoes on last time no i know but she also took it with and without the shoes Mm -hmm. on so i don't ever take it without the shoes on because that number doesn't exist yeah because i wouldn't i would never not be wearing it with the shoes but um you know again we're still like a month out and it only takes like two weeks to get a full new dress i think um so we're still like in the green zone we're not well we're in the yellow. We're in the we're currently in the yellow. So, um, yeah, not terrible, and that's okay. And it didn't take too long. And now we have thirty minutes. And I thought your part was at three. No, oh, it's at two. Even Are you sure? You said three to me. No, it's sh- I. She said three, and then I was like, okay, cool. I have an appointment at one, so I can just bop around after. And she was like, two is better if that works for you. And I said, yeah, sounds good. I'm sick with it. I know. Anyway. Hmm. Well, at least they're nice. Yeah. I mean, it's. Do you want to like grab something to eat? Like it's like a communication area. Well, yeah, but where do you want to go? Mm, I don't know. They have that much time. No, I know, but we could get like the Air One Hot Bar or something like that. Yeah. I really want to. I mean, I got bloated. 
really bad last time I had Just it, stop, which was a few days ago. Stop getting the same. Thing. I think I, I think it's the slider is the culprit. So I think I want to get the carne asada because I want some, I want to try their steak. Also Sweet Green just launched a steak Caesar salad, which I also want to try, but I don't steak know where. Steak Caesar. Yeah, I don't know where Sweet Green is actually. Could, could sound good actually, hold on. Steak Caesar. You tell them like me and fuck it. Yeah. I All right, we are on to our last and final appointment which is with dr jasmine tolly she is my naturopath and um we didn't get the sweet green because we couldn't find parking so yeah okay. js health what yeah. is the hair and libido i've been taking that for like two years so like not that. <laughs> do you notice a difference with that oh my gosh it's amazing but for libido as well mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. I, I always, like, people ask me all the time because I, like, work with them, and I'm like, it's not, like, a magic pill. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I'm so horny now. Like, I want to, like, have sex all the time. It's just more so, like, I could be into it tonight. Okay, we just made it back home and instantly changed into sweats because it's like freezing here. I don't know what is going on with LA weather. My naturopath appointment went really well and we're just gonna get a huge blood panel. Um, and then after I get that done, because I needed to be fasting, or sorry, yes, I needed to be fasting, but also I wasn't sure if any of my vitamins that I currently take have biotin in it. And biotin can apparently give a false positive any ski. so basically i'm gonna get a full full panel done probably next week and i'm very excited to get all of that back because i haven't had blood work done in a year and three months excuse me a year and three months anyway so i'm excited to get that done and i just like love getting blood panels done because they just tell you so much about what's going on like inside your body and she was like i really want to test for like heavy metals and things like that so the literally this long a wrap sheet full of what i'm gonna get done and what i'm gonna get like tested guys my body <laughs> my legs hurt so bad <laughs> not that they hurt they're just so sore and I want to show you guys because they're already a little bit bruised. Um, this, is my, this is my leg so far. About, we're only about like four hours post procedure. So, you know, fingers crossed that it doesn't get any worse. But yeah, so also all I want to do is order a pepperoni pizza because it's just what I want. I haven't had one in like over two weeks. And I just want it so bad, but I know that especially because of the lymphatic drainage massage that I got today, I really should have like something very nutritious and not pepperoni pizza. So, all right guys, I just wanted to let you know that I did in fact get the new steak salad. I didn't get the Caesar salad or whatever one the steak came with, but I just did a make your own and I added the steak. So. We're gonna do a little quick taste test. Mm, not my favorite steak, but. <laughs> That's I not. I've been talking about this for like three days. No, no, I'm aware. I'm aware. I, I, I know. Um, so that's gonna be really fun. <laughs> But if you're interested in what else I got, um, I got the Create Your Own Romaine uh, Wild Rice Steak Spicy Broccoli Apples Tomatoes Chickpeas Goat Cheese and the Spicy Cashew Dressing. So, count down the days to Sunday so I can get my pepperoni pizza. <laughs> And we're gonna watch. Why did you ever try to describe? I don't know. I was off the cuffing it, and I thought people said that it was good. Maybe I think I just need to like mix it in and stuff. But it was a little like chewy for me. But I do like the size of the the bites. It tastes like, it tastes like teriyaki. It does taste a little teriyaki. I think it is something like teriyaki. 
Um, but anyway, we're about, we just rented Kung Fu Panda 4 and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. So, all right guys, I love you. And if this is the end of the vlog, love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.